I, when Mr. Prager calms down, you just go in there and apologize. That'll be the end of it. Apologize? He's the one who should apologize to me. He called me names in front of everybody. I don't deserve that. Karen, Mr. Prager has been with NAFAC for a long time. He is a valued employee and your boss. Now he's been under a lot of pressure lately. We all have. And that means that your job is to be understanding. Oh, is this my job? Oh, you're too smart to let that happen. You're a member of the NAFAX family, a young woman with a future here. And that means being big enough to sacrifice your hurt pride so that a troubled, insecure 45-year-old man can salvage his. I tell you what. I'll apologize for you. I'll tell him that uh, you knew you were wrong and you're sorry. It's okay? Okay. Okay. Why don't you take the rest of the day off, huh? I'll give a lot of us a chance to cool down. Nice work. Maybe we could throw a party for good old Sid. Maybe we could have a day off on his birthday. What was I supposed to do? Call the network so we could make the six o'clock news? My job is to protect this store and the people who work in it. 